Hey everybody, it's your boy Celery Stick. Oh my gosh, check it out. We are back. Day 8, and it's like the third episode, and we're doing pretty good. So a lot of you are asking that we check out a few different options in this game, and I thought that would be a pretty cool cool idea. Um, let's like, get another pickaxe going before we head out. I need another stick so we can get that. Did we get any berry bushes yet? I don't think so. No berry bushes yet. No problem. We'll go and get ourselves some berry bushes too. And we have our shovel, 20%. Can we make another one? No, we need twigs. No problem. Did we get any twigs? No. Okay, so all we got is grass. Okay, we'll get right back to work. So some of you guys were asking me if we can do a lot of, I guess, like honey work. Collect a lot of honey, get some like um, honey farms going. And I think, yes, that's an awesome idea. Um, I definitely want to do it. I think it's a great idea. But I don't know if we're going to be able to do it before first winter. Um, we'll definitely be able to catch some butterflies and maybe set some, like plant some flowers, get that started at least. And we should be able to get some, maybe one beehive set up before first winter, maybe. But uh, that's probably it. I don't think we'll be able to set up a full farm until at least second winter. And that's cool. Um, also, somebody else had reminded me that in our previous series we had used like place markers to, to be able to track where we're, each wormhole would go. So, like, if we were going to probably try and go down a wormhole, we'd put, like, a, I don't know, like, a grass tuft next to it. And then wherever we came out, we'd put another grass tuft. So that way, uh, we'd have lots of grass tufts. And we'd know where we'd be going each time. Because it's easy to lose track of where each wormhole goes. Okay, so, all right, here's some sticks. We needed them. So let's uh, dig these guys up. Sweet. Nice. Let's collect these dudes. There we go. We have enough sticks to make another shovel. What do we have for a shovel? 8%. We can still keep going. So for this episode, I'm really planning to try to make sure we collect all the berries and twigs. Everything we need to get set up for winter. I think we'll do alright. Okay, that's the end there. Let's make us another one. But I really want to find us a quarry. We really need some stone. We're going to run out of stone for making our stuff. I also want to make sure we find ourselves uh, a good supply of gold. Now, we did find the pig king, and that's cool. Oh, look. There's a bug. Oh, I better eat these before they go bad. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Um, we don't have much food left either. Oh, look. We can't make a hammer yet because we haven't prototyped one. Whoopsie. I didn't want to do that. We'll make one soon. So that's that's a pretty close bee hut, actually. There's one right next to us. So we do have silk. So I think we can make a beekeeper's uh, bee, beekeeper's guy there. We'll pick up all those trunks in a little bit. Let's pick up this sapling as well. How many saplings we got? I want to try to get at least 10 saplings. Let's, uh, let's mine up this rock as well. Where's our pickaxe? There it is. Equip. I don't know if that's enough. Nope. Can we make another one? Yep. All right, and I guess we should chop down some more trees before I forget. There's a pretty good forest over here. Oh, and you know what? We have to explore this way. We'll go out this way too. First things first, we'll get us some trees. Now, I was reading a playthrough on Steam there, and uh, I guess a, a helpful hints guide, and somebody had recommended not necessarily making campfires, and they said it would be a good idea just to uh, carry a torch around at night and run around at first, and then that way we could uh, sort of use more time to explore during the night instead of just camping out by your campfire. And they also recommended using a lot of frogs and fish for food if you have a swamp or a pond nearby. And we do. We have one not too far away. I think I see one on the map there. All right. That is enough wood. A little bit of a slow start today. There we go. Let's pick all that up. All right. And let's head back out this way. Ooh, you know what? Hold on. Where'd my shovel go? Shovel. Let's get these guys, too. Sweet! We'll pick that up. Awesome. So, in case you guys are wondering, this episode is going to be going out New Year's Eve. So, Happy New Year's Day, everybody. Or New Year's... I guess it's just Happy New Year's, you say, hey? So, Happy New Year's, everybody. Thanks so much for all of your help. I hope you guys have an awesome New Year. I hope last year was pretty good. And I hope the New Year is going to be even better. Oh, man, I know Wilson's going to have a good new year. He's going to be not starving. <laughs> All right, there's a pig village. All right, so our pig hut. We'll pick some of these guys. We can use them as filler inside some of our meatball recipes. 
Oh boy, okay. We'll also take the cap, I guess. Sure. Oh wow, that's a lot. All right. What's that? Flowers? Okay. Let's uh let's just head out this way. Oh, there's another one. I'm pretty sure we have everything we need. Do I have enough to make a torch if I needed to? Let's check it out. Light torch. Oh yeah, plenty. And there's another guy there. Okay. I want to try to stay on the path so we can move a little quicker. There it is. I can still see it. How many twigs do we have? We have exactly 10 twigs. I don't think he could ever be short of twigs. So I'm going to pick up as many as I can. There's another one. Hopefully we can find some... Oh, what's this? Is this a swamp? Shoot. I don't really want to go into a swamp. Especially like a duskish. Got to watch out for tentacles. We got some reeds. That's pretty good. Let's hope we don't run into any... Uh, Bad dudes here. Got some more reeds. Oh, there's some more. Sweet. I'm keeping an eye on the old uh, daytime meter. Let's uh, let's get this going right now. Build. And equip it. Equip. Equip. There we go. We'll be able to see a little better. There's some mozzies over there. Um, can I pick this up at all? Oh, no. I can light them. I don't want to do that. We'll get on the path and we'll keep exploring. So we found ourselves a swamp. There's some more reeds there that we'll pick up in the morning on our way back. There are a lot of reeds. And look at that. We found a quarry. Pretty awesome, actually. I really like this. This is a big-ass quarry. We even found a tall bird egg that I don't really want to mess around with. Um, definitely not. All right, it's pretty freaking dark. Let's, uh, let's head right back to the path. And we'll just keep exploring. I kind of wish I didn't make this torch. I kind of wish I made a campfire. We'll just keep going because you can't really see very much. I didn't realize it'd be this dark. Well, the day's almost over. Or the night. Oh, okay. The night's almost over anyways. And we have a lot of gear with us. And our inventory is almost full. Oh, I forgot. We have... Uh, how much is left on my torch? 13? 12? I don't know what he was talking about. The dude said this was supposed to last the whole day. That's not going to last. I'm going to die in a minute. Campfire. No. Uh-oh. Campfire. That was so incredibly close. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. We just about kicked the bucket so soon in the game. Oh well. I guess that wasn't really a waste because we're alive still. Um, okay. So. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go and dig out this sapling. <laughs> so we got saved by the uh, the old, uh, I guess, glow. What do you call those? Uh, night lights or glow bugs or I forget. Be I forget what they're called. Let me know what those little bugs are called, guys. With the glowing butts. I completely forgot what they're called. And uh, that's what saved our lives. Those guys with the glowing butts. We'll just call them glowing butts. That's pretty cool. We'll pick a carrot. Nice. What I really like about saplings is you don't actually have to like fertilize them. They'll just grow on their own. That's a newer thing. It's not in the original guy. All right, this is good. Now we're in business. We got ourselves a quarry, lots of stone. We got an incredible number of saplings. Oh my gosh, we have like 22 saplings. That's plenty. Did my shovel just break? I think it did. How much? We got lots of flint. Let's build another one. You can never have too much saplings and like too much grass at home base. I mean, I suppose there's such thing as too much grass, but it's always useful to make more traps, to make... Uh, Maybe even a straw roll to make... I mean, I think a log suit just needs twigs and logs. I mean, now we, we're wearing a log suit, but we still have to make ourselves a, a pigskin helmet. He's starving. Let's eat our meatballs. There we go. We should go back home soon, though. We've been out for a few days here. Um, I didn't mean to pick that up. That's cool. All right. We have way too much gear. I think we're in good shape. Let's focus on the task at hand. Let's head back up. Oh man, we really should come back here for more than butterflies. At least we know where they are. We can always come back. We'll equip our pickaxe. And we'll go and hack away at this shit right here. Sweet! So now we'll have a good supply of gold. A good supply of stone. We got a bunch of niter too. Not that we really need niter so early in the game. But it's good to have it. Um, I think we use niter to make gunpowder. I've never actually made gunpowder. I don't really know what you can make with gunpowder. 
If you guys know what you can use gunpowder for, let me know in the comments, guys. I'd appreciate that. Because, uh, I don't know, should I be saving all this nighter? I'm really not the best don't starver. That's why I have to have all these mods to help me play, but it's still pretty cool. I really like this mod right now, the, the, all the different mods we have. Like, we can go out mining for so long. Okay, so now we have four gold nuggets. We'll mine up this one. Now that tall bird's nowhere to be found. Maybe we should grab the, the tall bird egg and just take off. I don't want to grow one. Oh, no, no. Just pick this up. I don't want to mine that. Yes, it won't fit in your pocket. Got it. Let's... Uh, oh, there's the tall bird. Oh, that would have been a bad move, I guess. Okay. <laughs> All right. We got old Jimmy Cricket there, the giant long legs. Okay, let's mine this dude up. No, no, this guy here. So, there is a difference. These ones with the little gold veins in them are the ones with the gold in them. And the ones that don't have anything like that are just plain. They just have stone. Now... The ones with the gold veins will also give you stones, so it's still pretty cool. Look at that. We found ourselves another beehive. That's pretty awesome. Now, this is a darker one. This is a huge quarry. Wow. We are set. We don't have to worry about that at all. All right. How much gold do we have? Ten. Um, I guess we're at a pretty good supply. Um, somebody had also mentioned getting up some of the gold tools because uh, gold tools are faster and they're more convenient. Um, wow, those things go bad real quick. Um, prior to that, we didn't have enough gold, but now I think we have plenty of gold, and I think we can do it, and I think we should do it, actually. Let's get another pickaxe going. I should really eat this stuff, because I'm running out of food here. Actually, I shouldn't eat it. What am I talking about? I got, like, carrots and stuff. And berries. Okay, let's mine up this stone guy here. And you know what, guys? I'm gonna mine up as much gold as I can with this uh, with this pickaxe, and I'll see you back at base camp, guys. Alright guys, and we are back. It's nighttime, day 9. I didn't quite finish up this pickaxe. I kind of ran out of daylight and I was low on food. Well, cooked food and I didn't want to waste anything. So let's see what we could do right away. Let's make ourselves some kind of meatballs, I guess. Oh, right. So on my way over, there was like a Royal Rumble, Royal Rumble with, I guess, one of the tall birds and one of the tentacles in that, in that uh, swamp. And they had two meat there, so I picked them up. Um, there was also the tall bird egg. I managed to rob it. There it is, the tall bird egg. And we also picked up a berry bush. We dug that up as well. Where'd it go? It's probably one of those. Um, so let's make up some food. I guess we'll just use a bunny because they're just sitting here. What's the big deal? We only need the one anyways. So let's put this over there. There we go. If I murder the bunny, murder. And then I guess put a berries or two. And I think I can put a red cap in there as well as filler. And we should be able to cook that. That'll make us some food because I'm a little hungry. Nighttime is over. All right, let's drop off the petals and these mushrooms and these mushrooms. And what else we got? Now, it's pretty close to like, um, what do you call it? Hound time. The hounds should be here really soon. And we should, oh, they're awesome meatballs. Let's eat those right away. There we are. Let's eat them. And let's see if we could, uh, can we just cook this? Now, let's just leave it for now. Why not? And we'll just hang on to everything else, I guess. Um, what we should do is plant some of these twigs. We'll plant them, like, right here, I guess. There we go. A nice series of twigs growing for us. And we'll pick up our other ten and do the same thing. This time we'll go up. No, definitely heard them. They're definitely en route. Okay, I don't think we're going to have time to make ourselves some kind of, like, real defense we're going to equip our spear. We got food, so we're not really in a bad spot just yet. We still got some time. I think it's like two minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some berries in there. And I'm going to pick up this guy. I'm going to plant him back down. Set trap. Kill this bunny. Open my crock pot. Drop that in there. Cook it. And now we're going to head on over to where the pig king was. We should be able to make it there in time. Very good. We have lots of wood. 
We have lots of grass, plenty of uh, fuel to make a campfire. We'll be in good shape. Now, it would have been ideal if we had a pigskin helmet, but we didn't have time to make that. That's okay. All we should do is just like, well, I don't really have any meat, or I would have, I think I can feed the pigs. Uh, oh, no, not that way, this way. Yes, I hear it. Relax, Wolfson. Oh my gosh, so close. Okay. Um, where is the pig king again? Hold on, tab out. Whoops, going the wrong way. Great. No good can come of this now. Oh my gosh. Okay. I need to get on that path like stat, or I'm not going to be able to outrun these guys. Oh, there they are. Okay, there's a pig. Sweet. Oh my gosh, it's intense. It's intense. I've never cut it this close. We're pretty close to the pig king. I need to move. Oh, I think they're coming. Oh gosh, there they are. Okay, we're going to keep moving. There we go. Now there should be two of them. No more. Maybe just one. If we go this way though. There's an awesome little pig village. It's daytime. These guys should take care of business for me. Why aren't they awake? Oh my gosh. No, don't attack me. There we go. Good. Attack these dudes. Now this guy's angry at me, I think. I aggroed him. We'll just keep running around in circles. It's an interesting method. And... Oh my gosh, they're quick. Come on, piggies. Okay, we'll go this way. Uh, don't get angry at me. Okay, the pig is dead. Let them take let them take care of the pig. You know what? I don't even think we need to worry about it. Oh my gosh. Why are they hitting me? I shouldn't have aggroed them. I think they're... Oh no, we'll just keep going. Alright, they'll be okay later. And uh, they'll give up chasing me eventually, hopefully. Well, that wasn't the best hound battle. We took some damage from the pigs, not from the hounds. Um, but we managed to fend them off. Our log suit took a bit of a hit. But it's not that big a deal. All right, let's let's uh, let's head back to base camp. Oh, my goodness. We were still unloading all our gear. I really want to... Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's take care of this. Shovel. What's that? Is that like a ring thing? Or what is that? Okay, it's the crank thing. Box thing. But there's also a lot of stone walls there. So if we get a hammer set up, we could do that. Let's, uh, let's dig up this dude. Dig it. Milk, eggs, bacon. Awesome. We got a red gem. That hurt our sanity a bit, but hey. Red gems are pretty good. We can make ourselves a fire staff. That's pretty useful. Alright, let's head right down. And we should be back at home base right now. And we get ourselves some advanced farm plots set up. And how much poop do we have? We have more at home, I think. But we should pick up as much of this as we can. I did not realize how far it is to the Pig King. Next time we're gonna have to make sure to uh, make sure to go there right away and not just like take our time. But what would also be good is maybe uh, setting up a small pig village closer to home. Oh my gosh, I forgot about these guys. These guys are crazy. Those guys are. Oh my gosh, I could have just brought them there. Actually, that's really good. We got a really awesome little pig village there. We don't have to worry about that. We got crap tons of seeds for our farms, in which I intend to make lots of. I don't even remember what's in a farm. I hope I have everything else. I just know it's lots of poop, and we have such a big beefalo herd here that... <laughs> Those guys are awesome. And you never know which one of these will be Dragon Pisces, because that's what we want. I guess if it ever gets dark and we're stuck without light, we can run up there. And hopefully... Oh, wait, but they're all going to turn to pigs if they're out during the full moon. Hmm, I don't know. Let's uh, let's just head back to base camp before it's day or nighttime. Okay, we are back home. All of our bunny traps are full. We got all of our crazy amounts of shit here. Let's get the fire going before we get caught without it. Refine boards. There we go. Let's throw boards on there. That'll last the whole night. Let's pick up our meatballs because we can eat that. Boom. There we go. And we should get something else going. Let's pick up this trap this time. I'd like to get a bird trap going eventually. Um, I think you need papyrus for that, don't you? And we have that, so that's pretty good. Where'd our... You know what? Let's use our meat. How do you make a meaty stew? I don't even remember. I hope that's enough for a meaty stew. I think you need three meat for a meaty stew, though. Okay, let's kill this. There. 
There you go. I think you need three. And each one of these is worth one, one, and each morsel is worth half a meat. So that should be a whole three meats. I think that'll take care of that. Um, what was I going to plant? We can plant some of our berry bushes. We only have six. It's probably better we had like 20. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. Let's plant them now. Oh, okay. Yep, we got a meaty stew. Sweet. We'll save that for a little later because we're not quite that hungry yet. We should really get a lightning rod going as well, I guess. There. Okay, we got them. Let's go fertilize them as well. So now we have six berry bushes. We have a crap ton. I think it takes like five days. Not a crap ton of poop. But we have like 30 like twigs and all that stuff. I don't want to go out too far because I kind of goofed and made that fire a little too far away. But hey, that's okay. So what were we doing just now? I lost my train of thought. Yep, let's plant these guys. Ah, oh, man. We'll plant them in the morning. Let's go to our little open chest here. Let's drop off that. And let's drop off our gem as well. Um, let those guys go bad. We'll have some nice rot. We have silk, a mandrake, ashes, and charcoal. We're going to build us an alchemy engine. Science machine. Alchemy engine. There it is. Alchemy engine. Come on. Oh, cut stone and refined boards. Or cut stone and like boards. So let's get our axe out. Where'd our axe go? And we can chop down our trees right here. We need six, or was it four? Nonetheless, you need to use, I think it's a crap ton. How does it? Boards. I need four of them. Yeah, so we're going to be at this for a little bit, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chop down these trees, and I'll meet you back at the alchemy engine. All right, and we're back. Okay, so let's refine us some boards. One, two. You know what? I'm just going to refine as many as we can because, uh, well, that's it. Okay, I think it was two cut stone we needed. So now we go science, alchemy engine, four boards. Oh yeah, let's do it. We got ourselves an alchemy engine. We'll stick it like right here, I guess. And when we get our hammer built, we can rip that down. But we'll do that next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. I always read the comments, guys. So let me know what you want us to do next. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Bye.